Hello! Hopefully you have liked and subscribed so that you can get some more Disney tips, but if you haven't, please do so now. We're going to talk about, <laughs> it could be the craziest day of your entire life. One day, Hopper Pass, without Genie Plus and without purchasing Lightning Lanes. Yep, I did that. And I have some tips to hopefully help you if you decide to enter the world of madness, because it was madness. It was so crazy. We got a ton done with what we wanted to do. So, first of all, make sure that you are wearing comfortable shoes. That is a must because most likely you will not sit down for the entire day because you're wanting to make the most of your day. Wear comfy, not brand new shoes so that you can get those steps in. I think we put in like 28,000 steps. It was insane. Um, make sure to pack water and sunscreen. This was the bag that I carried. I had water in it. I put treat like snacks in it and any treats that we wanted to save for later. It's not very big, but it's super easy to like stick in those ride pockets because it's smaller. It's not a full blown backpack. If you want to wear a full blown backpack, go for it. But we were like, Ugh. plus I was the one carrying it. So I'm carrying the water. And then I had my fanny pack that had like my wallet, my phone and stuff. Um, sunscreen up because you'll be out in the sun. We ended up getting a locker because the things that we purchased, they wouldn't do the check. So you can, if you go into a store and buy something and you don't want to carry it around the whole entire park, which we don't, especially if we're only there for one day, um, you can check it. And what that does is you can pick up your purchases at the end of the day out by the stroller place on the outside of Disneyland. And that way you can just pick up your purchases. We bought <laughs> two not one, two popcorn buckets. One was Jabba the Hutt, one was the Millennium Falcon. They were big and we did not want to carry those around. They will not check your beautiful <laughs> popcorn buckets. So we went down and rented a locker, which is on Main Street. I think it was like $7. And then we stuffed our stuff in there. Partway through the day when we hopped over to the other park, I put my jacket in there because I got hot. Lockers are great, not too much money. Um, make sure that you pack your portable charger for your cell phone and a cord to plug it in. I had the charger, I didn't have the cord. So we just kinda, I had my phone in the morning to mid afternoon and my husband was in charge of the phone with all of the checking the ride times and ordering food from mobile apping. And that's a must, you have to have the app so that you know ride times and you can order food from your mobile app and go and pick it up. Anything to be quick, to save time. Um, decide what are the most important things that you want to do because you can't do everything. You cannot do both parks and do everything. You can't do all the character meet and greets. You, character meet and greets. you can't do all the rides. You can't do all the shows. You can't do all the parades. You have to pick what you want to do. We are a ride or die family. We haven't done character meet and greets since the kids were little, little. They, they're they not interested in it anymore, but if that's important, put that at the top of your list, make that an important thing. Um, they have that on the app, where characters are, when you can meet them. We chased wait times. <laughs> that's what we did because that's what you have to do. If you only have, I think we had, 13 hours in the park. We are those crazy people that are there. So I recommend being at rope drop ready to go. We were there and that's early because we had to go through parking. When you park, then you take a shuttle back to the park. And the nice thing is, is once you are parking to get on, even just to get on the shuttle from parking, you have to go through security. So you don't have to have that. That's not as packed as I feel like the security just going into the parks is. That's a little less hassle. And once you do that, you can just go straight up to show them your pass on your phone, or maybe you printed it off, or maybe you have a magic band. But that way, it's a little bit faster. So I liked that. Um, but be at rope drop. We were 20 minutes early to rope drop. We left our hotel probably at 6.30, 6.20, so that we were there by 7.30. So we got there by 7.30 and then, you know, walked down to the rope where we wanted to go. Be flexible. My plan, 
my plan, because I had a plan, was to hit all of the little fantasy land rides because those are always, once the park is really full and open, those are a 20 plus minute each, just like Toad's Ride, Snow White, Pinocchio, they're usually really long. I love those rides. I'm that person that's like, I'll skip rides, but I'm not gonna skip Snow White because <laughs> I want the traditional that's important to me. Like I said, pick the things that are most important to you. So that was my plan. Well, once we got up there, they did have early entry for anybody that was staying at like the Disneyland Hotel. We did not. We stayed 15 minutes away at a really cheap hotel because we were trying to save money this trip. We flew into LAX instead of into John Wayne. We rented a car instead of doing shell service. We did everything as cheap as possible because we were just trying to do a quick trip. This was my birthday. We were just trying to make it really cheap. <laughs> kind of backfired anyway <laughs> it didn't backfire but like the hotel was we didn't sleep it was not great right on a busy road and the walls were paper thin and the windows were pretty much open there's nothing you could do about it. um so anyway be at rope drop be well fed so we made sure and ate a big breakfast before we went so that we didn't have to worry about that but we planned my plan was to go to Fantasyland. And so those early entry people made it so that you could see on your app what the wait times were for those rides they were all down like none of them were open and I'm like pivot so you have to be able to pivot be flexible so instead we went straight over once rope drop happened to um Buzz Lightyear and then we went from Buzz Lightyear and did Autotopia we decided to skip uh Nemo because <laughs> it's long it's a long ride it's like 10 to 15 minutes long it's a long ride it's not a quick ride it's long so we skipped that one and my husband is very tall. He's six foot two. So that ride is actually quite uncomfortable for him. It's very claustrophobic. He's like smushed up against the window. Like it's hard for him in that ride anyway. So we just skipped it. Um, he, I don't do Space Mountain. That makes me sick. But it was Star Wars night. And so they had the whole Star Wars, like the Space Mountain ride. It was totally Star Wars themed. So that was super cool. So he went in the single rider line, take advantage of single rider lines. He went on it, and because he was a single rider, he just hopped off and got back in the single rider and, and did it again. So he rode that twice in probably 10 minutes. So take advantage of that golden hour. Rope drop, that first hour, you can... We probably got six or seven rides in before the lines started to get a little bit longer, more normal wait times. You can go to the other side and also try and hit up those rides but I felt like those rides are a little bit longer. Like Jungle Cruise is a longer ride. It's a 10 minute ride. Indiana Jones, it's a little bit of a longer ride. So I didn't wanna waste that hour. I was trying to get through as many rides as we could. I really wanted to try and get, <laughs> I love the Alice in Wonderland ride, not teacups. We skipped the teacups. Mm -mm. The Alice in Wonderland land ride is one of my favorites. I just love it. I don't know why. I think it's so cool. You can go outside. I don't know. But it is normally such a long wait because there is no single rider. There's nothing that you can do. You just have to wait. So we actually got in line for that. And then I looked at the app and it was a 30 minute wait. And I'm like, nope, that will eat up too much of that golden hour. So we just popped out and we went over and did. That's when like Snow White was open and Toads and Pinocchio was open. We did skip Peter Pan. I love Peter Pan. Don't get me wrong. That is the ultimate classic ride other than Small World. But it's a 45 minute wait, guys. It's so, it's a 45 second ride and a 45 minute wait all the freaking time. It is just a slow loader and it's just gonna eat up my day. I just can't waste my time. If I've only got 13 hours, you're counting the minutes. You're trying to hurry. So be prepared to chase wait times from land to land. Be prepared to move quickly. <laughs> be fast. Um, but we skipped rides that had incredibly long lines. Like, this is controversial. I skipped Rise of the Resistance. I have been on it many times. I love that ride. It's phenomenal. It is so cool. It's a long wait and it's a long ride. We just skipped it. I was planning on skipping Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad, but it had like a 20 minute wait. And I just, we just went, we just went for it. And I was so glad I did because it was my birthday and it has like little birthday themed things throughout the queue line. And I, so I got pictures next to like happy birthday cake. So that was like super cute. 
and I looked like full-blown Minnie. Like I had Minnie Mouse pants, I had a birthday shirt that said best day ever and it had Minnie Mouse on it and then it said it's my birthday. Um, I had my Minnie Mouse ears, those ones right there. And then I had my Minnie Mouse shoes, so. <sighs> Literally the security guard swore. <laughs> when he saw me, he's like, holy, it's Minnie Mouse. My fanny packs, Minnie Mouse. Did you see my book bag? I think my book bag's Mickey. Yeah, but I was red, white, and black that day, and it was awesome. Like I got lots of loving, kind compliments from a lot of people. I had my Minnie Mouse earrings and rings and necklaces on. I was, I was decked. I was ready. This was my moment. <laughs> it was finally, I get to go on my actual birthday. It was the best day ever. <laughs> um, what we did to help with ride times because some of the rides were a little bit longer so one person would stay in line it was just me and my husband and the other person would go to the bathroom if they needed to or they would go and pick up food for us so we would eat in line we ate a burger in line we ate corn dogs in line cream cheese filled pretzels love those things we went and popped off and some of us would go and get souvenirs like i really wanted to get my daughter this cute little red panda and my son a keychain so my husband stood in line, popped out, went and got him, came back. So that way we were not wasting any time because you don't like, you literally are counting the seconds because you have got not much time. We didn't have the Genie Plus. We didn't have Lightning Lanes. We didn't do any of that. We just paid for a Hopper Pass, which we, you know, that's more expensive anyway. We're usually one park per day kind of people, but we had one day. We wanted to make sure we at least hit both parks, um, but we always ate in line. <laughs> probably looked crazy <laughs> we did get some treats that we could take home with us and I carried that in my bag my husband loves the churro toffees that you can get on Main Street you can get them you can get them in downtown Disney he got some there um, at the I just call it the tiger tail place but it's right by Winnie the Pooh they have that little treat shop that treat shop all day man I could live in that treat shop just for the smell we started in Disneyland Rides that we skipped. We're obviously going to skip the spinners. We're not going to do teacups. We're not doing Astro Orbiters. We're not doing Dumbo. We don't do Star Tours. That one was dangerous. That one almost threw up in my husband's hat. So we skipped those. We skipped Rise of the Resistance, but we hit pretty much everything else. And Nemo. We skipped Nemo because that one was a little bit longer. But I love Storybook. I love that ride, guys. I love that ride. I love it during the day, but I also love it during the night because the little houses are all lit up. Oh! We did Small World, we did everything that we could do and we were pretty much done with everything that we wanted to do, except we didn't do the Tiki Room. It's a little bit longer, we didn't do that one, but we did everything else. We didn't do any meet and greets, we didn't do any shows, parades, fireworks, or I mean fireworks weren't there during the day. But we were done at probably three o'clock with Disneyland. So then we popped over to Disney California Adventure. It's important to understand that Disney California Adventure has significantly less rides. So wait times there are always going to be higher because there's nowhere to go. There's not that many rides to ride. There's kind of the section down at the bottom that has like the jellyfish ride, the kitty rides, the Zephyr, that's just like smaller rides, a uh, goofy sky school. We skip that one always. That always gives every single one of us a headache, but I didn't even go down there because none of those rides were ones that we wanted to do. Toy Story Mania, super fun. It's like Ash, uh, not Ash, Buzz Lightyear ride. You're fighting each other, playing the video games. It's such a long wait, such a long wait. So it's not worth it. We skipped that. We skipped most of the rides in DCA. We didn't even go into Avengers Campus. I was so bummed. I just wanted to walk through it. I just wanted to run through it. Can I just sprint all the way through it? I did get to see, I, wa I forgot that I wanted to like, you know, on my checklist of things to do, I wanted to see Spider-Man's show where the, I don't know, robot flips like, and I made it. I got to see. I got out of line. My husband was in line for Monsters, um, the Monsters Inc. ride. And I got out of line to go get us some food. And foolishly, I went all the way from Monsters all the way down to the bottom by the Zephyr and got a pretzel, a cream cheese filled pretzel and a corn dog, like all the way down there. But on the way, the Spider-Man show was going and I was there right in time for the flip. And then he went and climbed down and I was like, oh, my birthday, just doing it all for my birthday. And then I went and got the food. So that first time that we hopped over to DCA, we hit Monsters. We hit Ariel, which was a very short, it was five minutes. It's a fantastic quick loader. Love that ride. And we did, what was the other one we did? 
Oh, Soren. My husband loves Soren. That's his favorite ride over there. But everything else we just couldn't do because there are such long lines. The Web Slingers, it's fun, but it's, a, it's like a 45 minute wait, always. Guardians of the Galaxy, you're looking an hour plus. Cars was two hours. Soren was two hours. But when we saw that it dropped down to like 30 minutes, we hopped in it. And then, of course, it turned into 45. But for some reason, Soren sometimes breaks. So we got those whopping three rides done. And then we popped back over to Disneyland. And we went and did the Tiki Room because we had to. My son loves the Tiki Room. So we did it for him. And then we hit Pirates again. That's my favorite ride of all time. And then we hit... Um, storybook again at night which i just i adore that by then the park had closed it closed at eight for the star wars night and then we popped back over to dca and we had about 45 minutes left before they closed at nine so we got in line for cars cars is you don't skip cars it's awesome but they have a single rider line i feel like they're getting rid of single rider lines because indiana jones used to have it they don't anymore they're just kind of getting rid of it so i know star war or Space Mountain has it and Cars has it. It was still a 45 minute wait for a single rider line. It was a two hour wait for standby. And then you have those lightning, lightning lane people that are also pinching in there too, slowing down the standby line. So it was a two hour wait for them. You can get in line when a park closes. So DCA, Disney California Adventure closed at nine. If you are in line for, in line for a ride at 9 p.m., you will get to ride that ride. Even if you're sitting in line for two hours, you will still get to ride that ride as long as it doesn't break. Um, we went on the single rider line and while my husband was there, cause it was a 45 minute wait, I popped over and got the kids souvenirs because the stores will close. The stores on Main Street will, will be open an hour after all the rides close. Like the Main Street area, like Buena Vista, I think that's what it's called in DCA. But I knew the stores that I wanted to get stuff for my kids in would be closed. All those little stores in the actual place would be closed. So I got my son a keychain and my daughter that red little cute panda. And then I came back and got in line with him. And we went on cars. So fun. Cars at night is the bomb. Like the whole cars line at night is the bomb because it's all neon and everything. And then like we got out with like five minutes before the park closed. So we got back in the single rider line and we were able to ride it again. Of course it broke down when we were on it and then about five, 10 minutes later it was back up and going. But because of that, we weren't able to do any of the shopping in the main street area because they were way closed by the time we got out because it was still another 45 minute wait. Even though we got back in the single rider line in time, it was still a long wait because of the people there. So take advantage of those single rider lines plan on being there for the whole day. Don't waste a minute because you can't. You spent all this money. <laughs> you can sleep later. <laughs> you can rest later. But we hit everything we wanted to do. I did not regret anything. I ate all the treats that I wanted to eat. I wanted to try the Harbor Galley cookies that are so infamous and they were amazing. And then the next day my husband ended up staying and then I flew home because he had a, another trip that he was doing with his friends out in California. So we hit deep uh, downtown Disney, which was super fun. I love downtown Disney. I didn't know downtown Disney existed until a couple of years ago. Yep. I didn't even know you just kept walking that way and there was something there other than a parking lot. And I will actually do another video about that, but I highly recommend if you can pull it off, it is not for the faint of heart. Congratulations. If you decide to try and do that in one day, but you can do it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hopefully this helps you.